Greetings and salutations! We're bringing you a new video for our uh, samurai game, um, which uh, this one isn't for Call of Cthulhu, make, funnily enough. Um, this one is actually for something different. And this is Skeleton Warriors. And boy, have we had fun trying to get hold of these guys. Um, when they came out at Warlord Games, um, they immediately came out and were sold out. And then the day after they were sold out, and they've been pretty much sold out continuously ever since they came out. So we haven't been able to get hold of a box, which has been a little bit annoying. Um, but we did ma finally manage to get one, just, and it has arrived today. And here it is. Uh, these skeletons are pretty awesome, I must say. Uh, they very much remind me of the old Games Workshop skeletons. Um, the main theme of them appears to be um, from the most awesome film. Is it Golden Fleece? Possibly Golden Fleece? Um, or is it Jason and the Argonauts? Possibly Golden Fleece. No. Isn't that the same one? Don't know. Anyway, there's this film where you've all seen it. Uh, I think it's a Harryhausen type thing um, where the skeletons are sort of fighting with men and it's a, uh, it's green screened and it looks absolutely... For its time, it looks brilliant. Even today, it kind of looks looks good. Um, yeah, it's just not a bad film, and I can't remember the name of it. You'll probably already scream again at the screen. Um, so here we are. We This is the box. Uh, it's an awesome box. I might, I'm going to put the box on the wall just because it's so cool. Um, so it's for the Warlords of Urhwan, or however you pronounce it. Uh, I don't play Warlords of Urquan, so I have no interest in learning to pronounce it properly. Um, we're playing a different game, and we'll just pop them out. Apologies to anyone who is playing Warlords of Urquan, uh, but we're not playing it. Right, so we have skeletons, and they all appear to be the same sprue, so we'll pick one sprue to do a video on. Hang on, what's this? Oh, brilliant. Right. These are shield decals for the Greeks. And you may recognize some of them from when we did Greeks ourselves. They're quite good. We've got pretty much everything here. Yeah, I quite like them. They're quite nice. Right. Um, so um, if you're doing Greeks, if you're going to do them as Greeks, um, you don't have to worry about your shields. You just paint them a color and stick one of these on. That's actually really good. Hats off to them. Right, so we'll have a look at the figures. Our oh, best way to do this. Right. Here we are. What do we have? We have skeletons. Lots of skeletons. Okay, so we have skeleton legs. Oh, some nice... If you look, the legs are moving. You have running skeletons or lunging skeletons, plus you have standing or walking skeleton legs. The feet are separate there, which is actually really good. Uh, in fact, to make it even more fun, the feet are attached by that little bit of sprue, so you don't have to mess around with individual feet, so you can you can do quite a lot with these. Um, well, let's guess, is that a hand poking out of the soil? That's quite a good little feature. We have lots of arms and, ooh, they're open-handed. That's very useful. That's going to be very useful for giving skeletons muskets. Um, so I have some spare muskets. So these skeletons are going to get some muskets. We also have a nice bow. Uh, moving along, what have we got? We've got a standard spear. It's the Greek-style spear with a sort of weighted end on one end and a spike on the other, um, spike, uh, blade on the other. Uh, then we have the Athenian sword. Uh, those are the Athenian sword, which is actually an axe, believe it or not. It's not a sword, it's called a sword, but it's actually an axe. It's very much like a machete. Um, it's weighted to one end and it's designed to hack off limbs, which is actually quite disturbing if you think about it. Whereas the the Spartans went for the short blade, which is a little bit more like that, and it was designed for stabbing. So the Spartans used to stab the enemy, and the Athenians used to hack at them, so they hack limbs off. Um, history has it that the Spartans were more efficient. Um, we have the standard Greek shield, 
with the fasteners inside and I would assume they're the arms to hold the, sh hold the shield that's quite good oh we've got some oh these shields are better for the Persians so they're quite nice little shields too um, oh and that is more the another type of spear which is quite nice that's more a thrusting spear whereas the other one is more a sort of hoplon uh, the kind of spear the hoplons would have used um, the hoplites and uh, so we've got some more legs and bodies there the bodies there and a nice little skeleton skull with a with horns odd but never mind right skull wise we have a complete collection of skulls we have a shouting skull a hanging open skull um, some grinning skulls a skull with a helmet which is quite handy let's turn it around and yes those quite nice little figures not a bad collection at all and um, plus we have the nice bit of ground with I presume a hand bursting out which is quite handy that's quite nice you also got the bases attached now that is useful having the bases attached to it uh, we're not going to be using these bases um, we're going to be using round bases for these figures but these bases will come in handy for our other figures because I always need square bases um, let's have a look we've also got some quivers um, so they're the they seem to be a generic type of quiver nothing special about it not the Persian type which tends to be sort of open-ended at one a sort of curved at one end so you can get the arrows in and out easier but yeah that's quite nice quite nice indeed do like it so these will be in lots of pieces in order to build so you will be able to get a lot of sort of functionality out of the figure um, which will make it quite useful to pose um, I should guess you could also use some of these legs to mount them on horses um, I'm not sure if they have any ho I think they do actually have some horses listed um, but they're not available either so or well, they might all be infantry I don't know um, but I'll look, have to look into that but that is the box as it comes so keep a look out you're going to see some um, Japanese samurai skeletons pretty soon so keep a look out for that um, so this has been the unboxing it's, mm, it's quite a good set of skeletons I've been looking forward to getting some skeletons for ages they're very hard to get hold of and they even it's still hard to get hold of even though you can't get even though they're available they're hard to get hold of now um, but yeah they're here um, so if you want to pick up a box yourself just pop along to Warlord and wait a large amount of time before they're available uh, they appear to be very very popular um, so that's it uh, that's Imperator Vespasian please leave a comment in the comment section and leave a like if you vaguely enjoy the video and ask any questions you like I'm usually around to answer questions that's if I can get the thing to work which is actually not that often but anyway who cares <laughs>